Will one ounce of undiluted glyphosate concentrate, will it kill that pine tree right there, the one with the sparse growth up top? That is a diseased tree. It has pitch canker. It's dying anyway, so I'm going to try to speed up the process. Here's the pitch canker at the base of that tree, and this is a fungal disease from what I understand. It is not treatable, and it is fatal, so this tree is dying. So here's the glyphosate I'm going to be using. It is 41% glyphosate. And I'm using it undiluted, not mixing it with water, pouring it straight out of the jug. And I'm following all the warnings associated with this product. You can see I have gloves on. I suggest you do that as well. One ounce is that bottom line. Right about there. And once this bulb is full, there may be a little bit left. So I have just a little bit less than one ounce of 41% glyphosate concentrate in this bulb. That's what I'm going to inject into the tree. I'm going to drill two holes. I'm using a half inch spade bit on my drill and I'm going to drill to a depth of about five inches. Today is Friday, April 15th, and the only thing left to do now is wait for signs that the tree is in trouble to look for those green needles up there to see if they start turning brown. If and when that happens, I'll come back with an update. Monday, May 16th, which is one month and a day since the application, and we have brown needles at the top. So that tree is in distress. Still some green needles, so it's not completely dead, but it's in trouble. And here's a view from further back. You can see it compared to the other pine trees around it. So that tree is definitely in distress. I'll give it another couple of weeks and check it out again. May 28th, which is 12 days since that last update, and six weeks and a day since the drilling. And this is the view from further back again, and you can see that that tree is completely dead. All the needles are brown. Now here's a view from the base and we're going to see the same thing. Nothing but dead brown needles up top. I would estimate this tree to be 60 to 70 feet tall just to give you an idea of the size of tree that was killed with one ounce of glyphosate, two holes drilled, and six weeks of waiting. Also use some common sense with this. Don't kill a tree that's in your neighbor's yard. Don't kill a tree that's right next to your house because eventually the limbs will fall and the trunk will fall and if it's next to your house it's gonna fall on your house. So use some common sense. And to give you an idea of how long the trunk may stand, three years ago I killed that tree using the same method. The limbs fell in about a year and a half but three years later the trunk is still standing. Down below in the description, I'll put a link to the glyphosate that I used in this video. A couple of years ago when I bought this, it was about $22 for the gallon. Now it's over $40 a gallon. And before anyone asks about a certain type of tree, will this kill it? Glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide, meaning it should kill any tree. That's going to be my answer if you ask that question. It should kill any tree. The only difference is going to be the size of the tree and maybe you have to use a little more. And because glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup, you might be able to kill your tree using Roundup. You just need to look at the percentage of glyphosate in the Roundup that you are using. If it's less than 41%, you might have to use more than one ounce. So again, be careful with this. Don't kill a tree next to your house. Don't kill your neighbor's tree. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.